these things, I swear, we'll have to do some editing on this one. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Breaking the Seal. I'm your host, John Myers, and we brought to you Joker from The Killing Joke. Now we thought we'd bring you another Joker. This one is from Suicide Squad. This is the Hot Toys Suicide Squad Joker. Uh, I want to just kind of start off right off the bat saying that this isn't my favorite version of the Joker, not by a long shot, but I'm willing to uh, put my opinion aside for in the taste of uh, bringing you guys awesome figures and statues. So right off the bat, I have to say this box is amazing. So love the colors, this purple and this neon green. There's so much going on here. It's got all over the place. Just great detail, there's texture. I mean, just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful colors. This is really neat where it's got the Joker up in the front, the Suicide Squad emblem. I mean, just Batman upside down is the smile. Uh, it's just really, really neat box. This is actually one that if, if you're box displayers, you might want to look into that, um, putting this behind the actual figure itself. So this is also a little bit different. Um, I've never seen one like this, but usually when you pull the sleeve off, you get your window here. Uh, but it's covered up with the uh, cast and crew of the creators of the stat of the uh, figure itself. And let's see, J.C. Hong, good friend J.C. Hong was part of this, so that's pretty cool. So there we go. Nice little window display. Pretty cool. He's got lots of gold to go through, so we'll just kind of do this one piece at a time. Uh, I will like to say that this is brought to us by our friend of the show, Matt Cundiff. He has brought a couple of figures on and uh, was nice enough to let us do this as well for him. Um, so thank you, Matt, for letting us open this up here on the show. So one of the newer things that, that I'm seeing more and more often are these displays. Um, these backdrops here. I'm not going to put this fully together for you, but you can kind of see this is something that you just take these little feet and they uh, put together right here on the sides and it just kind of, you know, does a little stand up right there and put your figure in front of it. Uh, I guess you wouldn't need to do that if you did it with the box unless you had the room for it, but that's kind of neat. It's got a little, you know, a little graffiti thing going on. So I'm going to kind of stick that under here so you guys can keep an eye on that. Put this aside. All right. So this is the Jared Leto version of the Joker. Um, a critically, he, critically, he wasn't everybody's favorite, but again, you know, it was a small piece of what I think that he could do. So, you know, I think it, given time, I think he might surprise us, um, but time will tell, right? So he's got a couple of bracelets, just kind of a gold rope. That's kind of some gold skulls. He's got a gold watch, so many accessories, and then necklaces for days, guys. Gangsta, gangsta joker, right? Okay. See, I have to make the bad jokes because Brown's not here. Uh, pretty cool base. I will say this. Um, to have this kind of on the front like that, I haven't seen that in a lot of a lot of hot toys. Usually, you know, especially from Marvel, it's just the round circular disc that has a little print on it. This has got a little 3D action going on. That's actually kind of nice. That top has got a little bit of a texture to it. So that's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and get the figure out of here and then I'll start pulling out some of his goodies. For not being the ultimate fan of this version, the detail that they put into him is pretty insane. Um, he's got these boxer shorts on, ha ha special, just covered with stars. It's got damage written on the back here. Uh, the Batman stockings he's got on and then his boots with this crazy grin on it. But all these tattoos on them are crazy. So you don't really get an opportunity to really get a good look at all these tattoos. But having this figure gives you a much better idea of all the stuff that he's got on him, which is really neat. We'll get you some good, uh, good close-ups of the tattoos. We got this really cool one right here. It was the Batman symbol with the, with the uh, knife through it. 
all his hand tattoos that he was, you know, putting his thing up there with his mouth and stuff. All right. So I'll put him up here like that. So hands-wise, he does have the gloved hands that you remember in the scene with uh, uh, Harley Quinn where he's doing the weird, crazy electrical thing on her, brainwashing her. He's got the open hand uh, still with, with, with the tattoo, so this would be his left hand. Um, this is his pistol hand, I would, I would say. He's got this really cool pistol. It's the purple and gold. It's got the little Joker emblem on the handle. And it does actually cock. So, you know, that's uh, that extra step that they do in this. That's great. Actually, now that I'm putting it in there, I think it is his other hand that, yeah, it is his right hand that the gun goes in. So keep that in mind. Um, as always, guys, it does come with the, uh, the extra wrist clips. So, you know, if you ever have any kind of accidents, those are what those are for. Um, I have had that happen to many of mine. Um, I wish they came with some neck ones because I've had some necks break on me, but what are you going to do? Uh, here is his awesome coat uh, that he comes with. Um, I'm not going to put this on. I'm, I will let Matt do that himself. Uh, but usually what you need to do is you take off the uh, take off the hands and just slip the arms through. It should go right on and then you kind of play with it to, to get it to sit just the way you want it to. But a lot of detail. It's got a, some good like silk cloth in there that's going to protect the paint. So if you decide one day that you want to actually uh, uh, display him without the coat, uh, that will protect it so it doesn't rub up against it and get all you know beat up. Um, nice texture. It's kind of like uh, some kind of reptile uh, coat. Pretty neat. Uh, it stays open. It doesn't look like it does has anything special to it or you know any kind of like uh, it's got pockets but they don't open up or anything like that. But pretty neat coat as far as that's concerned. I will say as far as this design goes, again not my favorite, but. The actual sculpting of this is gorgeous. If this is, if, I mean, this is Jared Leto, you know, at his finest, or not his finest, I won't say that, but uh, just the way he looks, looks amazing. I'm gonna put all these on him just to have some fun. Same thing with the, uh, with the watch and the, the, uh, the bracelets, guys. They will go on after you take the hands off and they just slip right on. So nothing too, nothing too difficult about that. And all in all, this is actually, you know, for everything that it comes with, that's actually kind of a lot. Um, I don't know the price off the top of my hand, but uh, you know, all things considered, you can kind of see how the, the cane sits right there in that hand. This is a pretty good figure. I think you're gonna get your money's worth. If you were a fan of the movie, Jared Leto, or a fan of the Joker in general, this is a, probably a pretty good piece to put in your collection. Um, he comes with a lot. You don't see a lot of uh, hot toys come with a lot these days. Um, they're usually pretty one trick ponies with a bunch of different hands. Uh, but this one's got a lot to them. So, and you can, you know, do different things with them with the cane or with the jacket and stuff like that. So I like it. I would say, let's kind of think of this in the sense of one through five. I'm going to give this a four. I think, you know, put my personal opinion of the character aside. This is an awesome figure. If you're a fan of the Joker, if you're a fan of Suicide Squad, pick this one up, guys. This is absolutely gorgeous. Very cool box, very cool display, and you even get the backdrop for him. Come on, that's so much stuff, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you once again, Matt, for letting us open this on the show. I really appreciate that. We really appreciate that. Uh, guys, you can follow us on Facebook, and don't forget to go to destinationcomics.com slash DNN. Check out all the fun stuff that we've got there. You can look back at all of our archives. Go back and watch The Killing Joke Joker again. It was fun. It was cool. And it's really, really quick. So you're not going to get in trouble at work. Love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Always remember to break that seal. destination.